Straight. Okay. Straight. Can you tell? Can you tell? Okay. <laughs> Before Toby Turner's comedic musical creations would get hundreds of millions of views. Before his Don't Taste Me Bro remix went viral, earning for him millions of views and inspiring a series of memes and even merchandise. <laughs> Before Toby was nominated for Best Host at the 2013 Streamy Awards. I'm gonna be real with you guys, that's something I would love to have happen a little old me. Before Toby's comedy channel, gaming channel, and daily vlogs would have a combined total of 15.4 million followers and over 3 billion views. Before his ex-girlfriend, April Fletcher, made several allegations about him, including that he was addicted to drugs and that he had drugged and raped her. These allegations are absolutely false. I just wanted to address it. Toby Turner was a class clown who was more interested in joking around than doing work. Initially wanting to try stand-up, he found out soon after that his home state of Florida, it didn't exactly have a thriving comedy scene. He then decided to turn to YouTube, but he couldn't afford a camera, so his mom, who was strapped for cash herself, took it alone so that her son could follow his dreams. That camera soon came in handy when a fellow Florida University student got tasered in class. And, uh, well, from there... Don't tase me, bro! That's what that guy would be called for the rest of his life. Ow! 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 Despite how viral that video went, Toby Turner wouldn't draw quite as much mainstream media attention from this as he would from his sexual abuse scandal, which began in April of 2016. Extremely serious, false accusations about me. Many have jumped in to his defense and others are adding further allegations. At the end of the day, the man is innocent until proven guilty. Why do I get a feeling this could one day happen to me? My ex-girlfriend, Kendra Sunderland, she better not get any ideas. This video is specially made for Michael McCredden, um, the only person that I've ever fallen in love with so quickly. Uh-oh, now I think I'm in trouble. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the rise to fame of Toby Turner, here for you on Before Their Fits. Also, this sex scandal is very new at the time of this recording, so it's hard to tell what really happened. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, be sure to let me know who you want me to document next. Toby Joe Turner was born on March 2nd, 1985 in Osborne, Mississippi to a family with 73 first cousins. That's a big family. But his parents, Jackie and William Turner, soon moved and he was raised in Niceville, Florida. Probably because they were afraid he'd end up actually dating one of them cousins. I don't know. Anyway, Toby has a brother named Billy and a sister Angie. Now he was the class clown in high school, but he still put a lot of work into his assignments. He tried to make all his papers as funny as possible, but still, he aced them. Apparently his teachers were happy to get some material they actually enjoyed reading. Toby attended the University of Florida and having an interest in filmmaking, he studied telecommunication production. He also did some stand-up comedy in Florida, but it wasn't exactly a great stand-up scene. Apparently, not a whole lot of comedy in Florida. The only reason to visit Florida is to identify your daughter's dead body. That is it. I did hear that the bath salt scene there is actually thriving. Let's move on. Toby really wanted to make some funny videos to pass the time while at school. The only problem, he couldn't afford a camera. So his mother took out a loan to buy him one, an act that helped to launch his YouTube career. Toby Turner joined YouTube on May 14, 2006 and created a channel under the name of Tabuscus. The first video that remains on this channel is a sketch based on the 2006 film Click entitled, What Would I Do With the Remote From Click? At the time he was making these videos, YouTube would feature user videos, usually generating millions of views for the lucky pick. Toby posted a spoof song about his dog, went to bed, then woke up the next day to millions of views. Falco was a dog. I mean, he was a dragon dog. Another one of Turner's most popular early videos is Don't Taze Me Bro, a remix recording of the University of Florida taser incident, in which his classmate Andrew Meyer was stunned with a taser gun by a police officer. Toby was later interviewed about the video on MTV, and he explained that as soon as he heard his friend yelling, he knew it would fit with a hip-hop song. <laughs> and the internet soon made it into a meme, a t-shirt, and a ringtone. Toby gave the profits from the sales of the merchandise to his taste friend. How sweet. 
Muska's channel continued to focus on comedic skits and animated sketches, and Turner had the idea of adding funny voiceovers for movie trailers that had just been released. People would already be searching for the content, which got his videos a whole lot of hits. Then he saw someone post a literal music video skit and knew exactly what to do. To sunset, free to some hobbits. The series went on to become one of his most popular, earning him millions of views and mainstream recognition from CBS News as well as Wired. So Toby's channel, it had blown up, so now he could finally afford to move to LA. This was in 2008. He also started getting to know another YouTuber and befriended April Fletcher. Yeah, the girl he would later go on to date. He dated a few. In April of 2009, he began using his Toby Turner channel for daily unedited vlogs dubbed Lazy Vlogs. Now in LA, Toby took on about as many projects as any man could handle. He started a third channel titled Toby Games, where he typically titled them Toby Sucks at This Game. I mean, there's so many people out there trying to be the best. It's actually refreshing to see a guy who's the absolute worst. He was also cast in the Cartoon Network TV show The High Fructus Adventures of the Annoying Orange. The following year, he worked with fellow YouTube comedian Jack Douglas on several projects and began dating YouTuber Olga K. By now, he was rubbing shoulders with A-listers and appearing in a three-part YouTube series for the promotion of Terminator Genesis, The YouTube Chronicles, where he met the Terminator himself. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger, and when that happens, well you know you've made it. Following this, Turner booked his first feature length film role in a romantic comedy in 2010 known as The New Low. In this, he played a stand up comedian, and he did a good job. He continues to book mainstream work. Next up on his resume is like Totally Awesome and Cute Win Fail, which he co produced with Philip DeFranco. Let's take a look at what Sexy Phil had to say about that experience. Many in the community have one to five Toby Turner stories around this. For me personally, those last two instances were uh, my wedding, and another was a Super Bowl party. He did something indecent in front of one of my female employees. The suits these boys were working with didn't like the cut of Toby's jib, and he was given the boot on a project he helped conceptualize. It was around this time he was in a relationship with April, and she claims that in 2013, it was then that he raped her, as well as gave her a shot of vodka mixed with MDMA. Now there was a lot of stuff going on in this guy's life. What I do know is that he lost his job. He then decided to set up an Indiegogo and raised a quarter million in just two days to fund Tabuska's Adventure Wizards. Now for all the success this young man has found, he hasn't forgotten that it was his mother who made a sacrifice and getting a loan to get him a camera that got him to where he is today. And he's definitely got a soft spot for his mom. She's come to his defense during all these allegations. Uh, and he plans on moving her to LA because she has a lung disease thing and he thinks that's going to be a better place for her. Although there's a lot of smog there. He has this lung disease. And the rest of the story, well, you know the story, or we'll have to wait and see. This is Before They're Famous. My name is Michael McCredden, and I do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. I've done a whole bunch of YouTubers, like 50 in total. Uh, the big names, they're probably done. But let me know in the comments down below who you want to hear about next. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!